people don't know this, we were canceled literally a day before we were to start filming of our second, first episode of the second year. Oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, I found out why. It wasn't about ratings, because we had done well in the summer. Uh, it was about an episode of, of a show we wrote called The King of Wall Street. And uh, I got this story. I was leaving in New York. Walt, uh, I had gone to CBS for some other reason. I was leaving, and I heard someone call my name, Jim Reed. I went, that voice is, I've known that voice all my life. It was Walter Cronkite. <laughs> wow. he said, yeah, true story. He said, Jim Reed. And I turned around, excuse my sinus, I just got back from Vegas. And was, the humidity here in Virginia has awakened me. But anyway, <laughs> I, I, uh, I turn around, and there's Walter Cronkite. He says, Timmy, I'm going, he knows my name. <laughs> so he says, may I speak with you? So we stepped in the club right next to uh, Black Rock, 21, I think it's called. We stepped into the bar. He walked into the bar. He said, may I buy you and your wife a drink? I said, yes. He said, young man, you're owed, you are owed an explanation. He said, I watched your every, every, I think the board meeting was on Tuesdays, uh, every, uh, whatever they met was always on a Tuesday. He said, you know, the first few minutes of every board meeting, we talked about Frank's place. He said, your show was loved by all. He says, do you know why you were canceled? I said, well, they tell me. He said, no, I wasn't by reading. He said, that episode, King of Wall Street, really rippled through the board. And there was someone very powerful who took a bridge to it. And uh, people should, if they can find it, should see it, and you'll know why we were canceled. <laughs> oh. Had nothing to do with rating. <laughs> Had to do with the with the power of the images and story told in that one episode. The actor who played uh, the lead lead part in that was uh, McIntyre. He had won the Oscar for Ragtime, and I remember we were rehearsing because um, we shot film camera style. We, we didn't shoot it like the audience comes in. And so uh, we were rehearsing a scene and he pulled me aside. He said, Timmy, he said, I got to tell you something. He says, I've been in this business a long time. He says, uh, I won an Oscar. He said, I've never had words like this. And um, he, uh, he, oh, he loved it. And he got into it, I think, a little bit too well. <laughs> but nonetheless. That was the history of Frank's place. That's why we were canceled. We overstepped. We we were too, as you can get sometimes. I mean, in all things, moderation, including resistance. But I think, and I, I sometimes I knew we would go too far. I, I got into a big, big argument, creative argument with my my friend and, and mentor Hugh Wilson on one of the episodes called "Cool in the Gang" about uh, drugs, and. Uh, and it was part of the one part of the the thing I did not like. I said that's going too far. Not that it went too far. It's just that it took the story away from the story. It was an added story. It was like a a lane running parallel to this lane. He was very adamant about he needed to make that statement. I was saying that statement is going to dis distract people from the this lane where we're telling the story. And um, he he was on the fence. And one of the writers who I did not particularly care for that much at that time was wanted to make a statement. He wanted because actually he was the one who was given to 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 actually shepherd that particular story. He really wanted to do that, and I really I tried to talk him out of it. They did it, and it it began to put a nail in the coffin. But uh, again, uh, the power those who have it. Hopefully we'll use it uh, not for good, but for good storytelling and have a purpose. So what do you think the legacy of Frank's Place is, that one season of well, You know, two episodes are, are in the uh, records of the United States Congress um, uh, used for, um, to highlight a particular issue, uh, uh, basketball, um, uh, NCAA basketball recruitment. Uh, one we did on uh, on, on recruiting a, a black athlete in New Orleans. That one was put in the record, but it's being taught um, as a cultural um, project at a couple universities in America. It's certainly in the archives at UCLA. So I think years from now somebody will stumble over it 
pull it out of archives and look at it and go and think in context of what was going on in the world and see that it was unique. It was it was different. Uh, I still say had it had it ran for four to five years, race relations in America would be entirely different. Uh, it'd still be a struggle because that's our nature. Uh, but I think they'd be entirely different. Not necessarily better, but different. Mm. I would have Just, liked to have seen that and, yeah. and been a part of that that evolution. 